how to lose weight and keep it off. If you want to drop the pounds and take control of your health, I'm going to show you how. Yo, what's going on everybody? Scotty Boots here, back with another video. Hope you're all doing well out there and having a great day. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Be back to talk plenty of times about ways to own our life and own our health, both physically and mentally, because so much of this health journey revolves around mindset. It really is the most important piece to all of this because there is no magic formula that is going to do anything for you. It comes down to your mindset, the story that you tell yourself, which is why I say your limits are only what you perceive them to be because you can do anything anything you set your mind to. You put your mind in the right state and you carry that positive mindset towards yourself, you can achieve anything. The result will always follow if you put in the work. And we're gonna talk about how to lose weight and keep it off because it is a twofold thing to this here. First section is losing the weight. The second section is keeping it off. And sometimes keeping it off is the biggest struggle. And there's a reason why we relapse and why we do lose the weight and then we end up failing relapsing and putting all the weight back on. There are reasons for this and it all is surrounding the mindset. So how to lose weight and keep it off. One simple thing that we need to do and it's not that it's easy, but it sounds easy and it all comes down to lifestyle changes. That's the trick. Lifestyle changes. What we're doing that isn't benefiting and helping our health, it's working against us every single day. So if we want to own our health and lose the weight and keep it off, we need to make lifestyle changes. And those lifestyle changes, everything follows in line. The mindset falls, the discipline falls, everything will fall into place after we make those lifestyle changes. It's the biggest thing. And that's what helped me on my journey was changing what I was doing. There's multiple things that play into this here. First and foremost, to me, the biggest piece of this is taking control of our health and what we are putting into our body because no matter how much exercise, no matter how much working out we do, you're never going to outwork a bad diet. If you're still eating like shit all the time and you're exercising all the time, you're just going to be counterproductive, you're going to get discouraged, and it's not going to work. We need to take a look at the things we're putting into our body and change that. And you might say to yourself, well, I don't have time to cook a healthy meal. I don't have time to focus on putting healthier things into my body. If you want to lose the weight, if you want to take control of your health, it's not about finding the time anymore. You put in that lifestyle change, and we are going to make the time. How do we make the time to do this, you ask? Well, take a look at your day. How much time is being invested into unhealthy food choices for yourself throughout the day? Are you stopping on the way to work in the morning to pick something up through the drive through What are you doing with your lunch break time? Are you using that time to go out and buy fast food? What are you doing after work? Are you stopping at the store to pick something up? Are you ordering out? Are you eating something unhealthy? Are you snacking at night? Are you going back out again at night to get more snacks or get ice cream or chips or whatever? You need to take a look at everything that you're doing throughout your day and the time that is being invested into your current food intake. That was a huge thing for me. Um, I had and have a huge food addiction problem, which we will definitely be discussing on this channel here in the near future because it was a huge struggle for me to overcome that. But I've done it and I've, I've achieved this and I've conquered that. And it's a big part to this. But the reason I was able to do that is because I made the lifestyle changes and I've lived by that. Mentally, it helps to overcome everything. So much of it is around the mental game. So if we tell ourselves we're making lifestyle changes and we implement this new way of life, you don't have to overthink every single thing you're putting into your body anymore because it's just that new way of life. You kind of set this new code for yourself and you live and you abide by it each day. It builds discipline. It builds strength for your mind. And each day that you push through and those days that are harder, that you push through even harder through those days, Little by little, it does get easier and easier. Before you know it, you've developed a good habit, you're in a good routine, and now you're just cruising each day. This is just part of the daily grind now. It is achievable. 
but this is what we need to do. We have to put in the work. There's no magic formula out there to just do this for us. It's never going to work like that. It's, no matter how many different um, advertisements for health and magic pills and whatever it is that we come across, it's all stuff to keep us distracted. None of that puts us in the right state of mind. All that tells us is, oh, here's the easy way out. Here's the easy way out. Here's the easy way out. And then you're looking for immediate results with that. It's discouragement. You're off to the next thing. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. None of that shit matters. We need to make lifestyle changes. We need to want it for ourselves. We need to implement those lifestyle changes. And we need to abide and live by that every single day. All right? That builds discipline. That creates good habits. So you need to look at your day. Figure out what is the time being invested into your daily food intake and the unhealthy foods you're putting into your body. For myself, I was stopping at fast food sometimes on the way to work, sometimes on my lunch break at work, sometimes driving home from work, sometimes late at night before going to bed. All these extra little things that add up that I wasn't thinking about at all. So I'm looking at an hour plus of my day being dedicated to unhealthy food choices. And I said, well, if I take that hour plus out of my day and invest that into focusing on putting good things into my body, I no longer have to find time. I just made the time. But I need to implement the lifestyle change so that I'm living by that new code each day. I have to follow that. If I'm continuously eating this shit all the time and hours of my day is dedicated to getting my fix, well, of course I'm not going to find any time because so much time is being dedicated towards things that are working against me. So find the time in your day that's working against you and flip that on its ass to make it work for you. That's a lifestyle change and that's a good habit. That's discipline. These are all going to implement very positive behaviors into our life now for us to take control of our health. So in my opinion, the most important piece up front is getting control of what you're putting into your body. What are you eating? What are you drinking? Keep it simple. Don't overthink it. Put in the lifestyle change. Take the time that's working against you and flip it to make that time work for you. That's how you make the time. You find the time in your day that's working against you and you flip it to make it work for you. That is how we do this. Then it flips that switch in the mind where we're no longer trying to find time amongst our already busy day. We're taking the time in our busy day that's not benefiting us and we're making it work for us. It's a mindset. It's a mindset to do that. All right. Are you guys following me here? It's not about finding the time. It's using the mind and basically flipping it to have a different perception on that time in the day. Start with that. Get the food under control. That's the most important piece to this. Next thing with putting in a lifestyle change is getting some kind of exercise. And you can do whatever you want. We just need to be moving our bodies. All right. If you're right now watching this video and you, you know, every single day, today's the day, today's the day, today's the day, stop. It doesn't matter. Today never needs to be the day. It needs to be right now. Stop watching this video. Get up and go out for a walk, even if it's for five minutes. Just do something different to break up the day. That's all you have to do. You just got to get started in moving your body a little bit. You know, how many times are we sitting down saying, okay, Monday's the day, and it's Thursday. So you're using that as an excuse to splurge Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and by the time Monday rolls back around, that little burst of motivation you got is gone. All right, we can't rely on motivation to keep us going. Motivation doesn't do anything for us, nothing at all. It'll give you a boost here and there, and when you get it, run with it, take advantage of it, but motivation is not a constant. That is why lifestyle changes need to be put into place, because when you put in that lifestyle change, you can fall back on discipline, and discipline is the real winner here. Discipline wins the race. Motivation can give you a killer workout. Motivation can put you in a great mood and make you feel amazing and give you that extra drive and push some days. But staying disciplined and being able to push through those days that are harder is ultimately what is going to get you to where you want to go. The way that you own discipline is by making a lifestyle change. You have to do today differently than what you did yesterday and the week before and weeks prior. You got to change your mindset. You can't expect to get results if you don't change your mindset, all right? The story we tell ourselves is so important, all right? And by believing in yourself and giving yourself that power, you need to take advantage of that. 
you have to. You have to boost yourself up and convince yourself that you are worth it and that you can do this, okay? You have to put yourself in that mindset. If you're constantly telling yourself, well, I'll just try, I'll give it a shot, we'll see how it goes, that's already setting yourself up for failure because you're keeping the opportunity open to fall back and you know and ditch out. Don't give yourself that out. If you want to go in and own your health, you want to drop the pounds, you want to put your health front of mind for the rest of your life so that you can lose that weight and keep it off, you need to tell yourself the story that you want. And that doesn't start once you lose the 50 pounds or the 100 pounds or the 200 pounds, whatever your goal is, whatever you want to accomplish, you start telling yourself now, all right? Everybody likes to say, fake it until you make it. I say, own it until you own it. It's the same exact thing. But for me, my mindset's a little bit different with that because I don't need to fake it until I make it. There's nothing to fake. If I'm going to own my life and I'm going to own my health and I'm going to go on that journey and kick its ass, I'm already owning it. It doesn't matter what my weight is. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. I'm owning my life that day and I will continue to own it until I own it every single day. That is a good positive way to look at that. There is no faking. When we want to take control of our health and we're going to move forward and do that, you're owning it. And own every day and celebrate every victory that you have, all right? Because our minds are working against us. Our minds are never going to push us to do what we want to do. That's why we got to put in the lifestyle changes to work our minds into this new routine, into this new habit. Another way to look at this too is how many times, you know, if we had to force ourselves into a new routine, maybe um, switching jobs, all right? You used to work a second shift or you used to work at 10 o'clock till 5 o'clock, but now you got a new job that starts you at 7. Well, you got to change your schedule, right? That's a lifestyle change right there. You have to implement that change and stay disciplined to it so that you can get up and get to work on time. When we've got somebody pushing us and forcing us or we feel like there's not an out for it, It's kind of funny how quickly sometimes we'll make ourselves adapt to those things. Well, when we got to do it on our own, it's a lot more challenging, but it's the same concept. Yes, it's challenging. Yes, every day is not going to be easy. Yes, you're going to be tempted, but make a lifestyle change. Tell yourself that new story, all right? Just like the work example. I'm going to run with that for a second because it's a perfect thing. You used to start work at 10 o'clock. Now you got to get up and be out the door by 7 o'clock. That's a three-hour gap that you've got to adjust to now. Well, you're forcing yourself to do that every single day. Think about that the same way with your health. All right, well, instead of dedicating this hour and a half of my day to getting fast food and eating and feeling bloated and sitting down feeling like crap where I don't want to get off the couch, all right, I'm going to flip that and I'm going to focus on just eating the healthy foods. And now I feel more energized. And now it's a little bit easier to get out of bed in the morning. And now doing my daily routine and everything just feels a little bit easier, a little bit less sluggish. And each day goes by and you feel stronger. Mentally, you're feeling stronger. Physically, you're feeling stronger. And that continues to build and grow. And then you start exercising. You're doing things. And I I'm always going to recommend DDPY. Look into DDPY or DDP yoga. It's what I do. I do it daily. It is the best thing out there. Can't say enough good things about it and cannot recommend it enough. But as long as you are doing something to just move your body, these are all things that are going to build good habits. It's going to implement the lifestyle changes. It's going to bring upon discipline. And each day that those more challenging things come up where it's harder to say no to that sweet or say no to that fast food drive through it gets easier and easier because you are now training your mind to do something differently and you're living by the lifestyle change. That's the positiveness and that is the power of our mind. You are convincing and telling yourself a new story. All right, so that is where we're going to leave it for today. We will definitely circle back with this more to talk about some additional things, but so much of this revolves around the mindset. So if you want to lose weight and you want to keep it off, it comes down to making lifestyle changes, okay? Lifestyle changes because we are in this for the long haul. This isn't a temporary thing to lose the weight and then go back to old habits. We need to instill new habits, stay disciplined, make the lifestyle changes, 
own our lives, own our health, and kick major ass, all right? So that's where we're gonna leave it for today. Thank you all very much for watching here. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll be back with tons more videos talking about all sorts of different things here to help us own our lives and our health when it comes down to physical health, mental health, and just the mindset sometimes to change the way that we're perceiving things because everything in life and everything surrounding our health is always going to be based on our limits and our limits are only what we perceive them to be. All right, so you guys have a good one. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.